dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon, we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Hi folks, okay, so the video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago with the youngest girl that gets thrown to the floor by the police, obviously the reason that I upload these videos is to start a debate and, you know, it, discuss things with people. Sometimes, as a lot of you say, and I say as well, we can only go and base our opinions on what we see, which is why I always say that if you are gonna film an event, Make sure you upload everything in one go so that there can be no doubt about what's happened. In this particular case, it now appears that the girl who got tackled by the police officers and put on the floor was the one who had the knife initially. That's what it appears like. It looks like she has turned up with the knife and started being aggressive. The shop owner or the shop worker has managed to take the knife off of the girl. Now. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll put my hands up and I'll say I'm wrong. Although, to be fair, I didn't make any real judgments on that video. I just said that I think that the police acted harsh on the girl. And they did based on the information that we knew at the time. So now additional information's come along in the form of another video. I've put that video and the video that you saw earlier back to back in this video so you can watch the whole thing. What happened, bro? What happened? No, no, I don't know. I just came. Can I talk to my chair? Gamma chugre. Gamma chugre. Gamma chugre. Gamma chugre. Gamma Right, well, there you go. So the haters get hating. <laughs> 
because I know what's coming and that's absolutely fine. At the end of the day, as I said at the beginning of this video, we can only base our opinions on what evidence is presented at the time. And at the time it was that one video. Now the second video's come out, I'm more than happy to rectify the previous video, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And in the previous video, I said I think I thought the police were excessive with the girl, and I still think they were, I have to be honest. She had no weapon on her when they arrived. She was, or she looked like she was complying at the time. They could have put her up against the vehicle and handcuffed her without throwing her to the floor. So I still think that that was excessive. The fact that the Muslim guy had the knife when the police arrived, and bearing in mind the police literally only just turned up so they didn't really know what's going on. They didn't seem to handle that very well with the fact that the guy, you know, somebody standing there with a knife in his hand and they all went and put their tasers away without knowing the situation the guy with the bat now that is tricky because although i don't agree with using weapons at all i do agree with doing whatever you can when it's a life situation however at the time she wasn't trying to attack the guy with the bat he went to her so i'm a little on the fence shall we say about whether i agree with him or not and this is just me being completely honest with you guys again i'd love to hear what you think in the comments now now we've seen both of those parts you've heard me admit that the previous video some of my comments and the way that I perceived the incident were wrong and I apologize to all of you for that the last thing I ever want to do is make it look like I'm trying to deceive anybody because I'm not so if I make a mistake the hands go up and I apologize for it so if you can forgive me for that mistake then I'd appreciate it let me know in the comments what you think about the video now i'm more than happy to discuss it again with you but the main thing i wanted to do was to i shouldn't have left the tv on that flashing in the background uh, the main thing i wanted to do was to admit that my perception of that incident was wrong because i didn't have all of the facts but now we have more information I'm quite happy to say that I misread the situation and I apologize for that. So thank you again for watching and until next time. Good night all.